Hi, Pierce here. Today I'm going to show you guys my Metal Earth model collection. Now this is another separate collection which I have been collecting alongside my Lego Army collection over the years and um, it's a really great collection which I really appreciate. Now what sets this collection apart from my Lego one is that um, the construction of these models are a lot more complicated and difficult and they take a lot longer than my Lego sets or Lego creations. Uh, they, they, they appear to be very accurate and they, um, I guess the metal aspect makes them very appealing. And um, ironically, even though this, um, these models take longer and are much more difficult to construct, they're a lot smaller than Lego. So, yeah, like this is like a, this is like a Lego minifigure compared to them. This is how small they are. So I guess you can really store this and really, you can get a lot of these um, models and store them in a very small place efficiently. Now, the stuff I have in this collection include the, um, I think this is the... The Golden Pagoda, it's like a famous building in Japan. It's a Kinkaikuji Golden P Pagoda somewhere in Japan, which I visited. It's really nice. Um, the Eiffel Tower. A Supermarine Spitfire. The Slave One from Star Wars. Uh, the Golden Gate Bridge. an F-15J and a uh, Japanese helicopter carrier and last but not least a Tiger tank now these are really these these models are really great the interesting thing is that I think a, like a huge portion actually came from Japan and I wasn't really able to find a lot of the other models like um, this Japanese helicopter carrier I found in like a um, Japanese gift shop from like a um, this Japanese building I this Japanese government building I visited in Tokyo I guess as a tourist attraction. Uh, the F-15J um, this was also from Japan. A friend got it for me and then he just gave it to me as a gift. So yeah, the rest over here. Golden Gate Bridge, Slave One, Spitfire, Eiffel Tower, Golden Pagoda, and uh, Tiger Tank. You could find them in stores in Canada and the United States very easily. So, relatively e easily. So yeah, uh, yeah. The <laughs> the um I got I guess I got all the the golden models, which is the Golden Gate Bridge and the Golden Pagoda. Yeah, they're really nice. Uh, in terms of price. Um, I think they have like three separate price ranges or something like something like a um, Eiffel Tower you get like I believe like one sheet one sheet of metal and it's really small and easy to construct this is like I guess this is around 10 bucks I'm not really sure I think yeah it's around 10 bucks I think it's a uh, really I guess it's a really easy, it's really, it's a really easy model and it's um, a great model for starters. That, that was actually the fastest one I built. Um, something a bit more expensive and a bit more time consuming is something like the, um, the Tiger model or the Spitfire. So here's, here is the Tiger package. I believe this one has um, two sheets of metal and it's a slightly longer instruction. Yep, two sheets. I believe this is this um, set is um, 15 to 20 bucks. So yeah, uh, and then you got like something a bit more expensive like um, I guess something like this carrier or like 
Pagoda, and I think it's like three sheets, and they're like 20 to 25, somewhere in that price bracket, I don't really know. And then there's like this, these even larger sets for like the Iron Man or like the other crazy large stuff, which go for like even more, like really, really expensive. So yeah, um, some tips and tricks when first starting off is um to to um when first building these you should probably get a tweezer and yeah a good like a good tool to start off with is like a tweezer because they have like uh the metal models have like um these points which can be folded to fill in holes so in the instruction here Metal sheets would be um, slid into one another, and this um, connector would be slid in, and then you would um, fold it in order for these two pieces to join together. Now I've used my hand, my like my fingernails, and um, I guess they were somewhat effective, but um, over time, I guess my fingernails kind of just weared off, just got them cut away, so I wouldn't recommend that. I think a tweezer would be nice, but just be very careful because these these um. These little flaps can be easily broken off. So if you break it one, if you accidentally break a few of these, you might actually lose a entire portion of that set. Another thing to note is that sometimes you have to be very careful with the instructions. Um, sometimes I have accidentally, um, well, I think the instructions told me to um, put in certain parts. So I I guess I push, I put in a few parts into a section and then they tell me to fold that section into the other section and then connect it to a joining part. But the weird thing about the instructions sometimes is that, um, that when you put it, when you get, when you're like after folding in one section, you end up finding a section that has already been folded and they're telling you to add another section which cannot be possibly be folded, the, the flaps cannot be folded into because that section is legitimately inaccessible. Like say if I, um, if there's an instruction, there could be instructions to say, oh, um, I guess like, um, um, fold in this fold in this turret inside this uh, chassis and then maybe the next step they could possibly sometimes they once in a while they say oh well now uh, fold in this cupola which is basically impossible because you can't get your your hand or like your little um, tool inside there to get that in so yeah that's just one thing to note about and um, I guess if you're very young and you really don't like sharp components, you should probably not, you should not go play around with these models because the metal here is actually really sharp. But if you really like small models that take up some time and they look really nice and accurate, I think metal earth models are really great. If you just like something that's just reusable and just large and just I guess very customizable and customizable and it's not it's not as dangerous it's not as sharp and it's much more friendly to play with I guess Lego is the um, much better option so yeah that's that's my take on uh, metal earth models I really like my Lego collection and metal earth models they have been I've been really fortunate to have both of them so yeah, thank you for watching.